There are so many surprising things in the book, but the thing that surprised me the most, that I actually had to reread it because right. I said, is this true? Right. Was that in 2016, you and Will decided that you were going to live completely separate lives. Yes. It was... This relationship is going to forever be a case study in sectors of the internet like this so that young men can continue to learn from Will Smith blue-pilled simpish days to understand the mistakes that he make and ensuring that we don't make the same mistakes in our life as well. God damn it, Jada! Yo, the fall from grace from the Smith family. I've said this once before. As a young boy, as a young MTR, right? If I would look out into the news and look out into the media of a like person that I can emulate, it was Will Smith, pre-entanglement. Since then, we've seen an historic fall of Will Smith image and character by none other than his wife, Jada Pickett Smith. I've said this before as well, but it is my belief that you are pure evil and you have worked diligently over the past several years to destroy the image of the once great Will Smith. And before we get into Jada's comments for all of the guys that watch this channel, all of the guys are part of the MT Army. This is why I tell you guys so often that the most important decision that you will ever make in your life is who you choose to wake up next to each and every day. Because you can go out like Denzel Washington, a loving, supporting wife by his side that has never, ever spoke ill of his name publicly. Or you can go out like Will Smith, image forever tarnished because of his direct relationship with a witch. Ugh, look at that evil, maleficent gaze. There are so many surprising things in the book, but the thing that surprised me the most, that I actually had to reread it right. because I said, is this true? Right. Was that in 2016, you and Will decided that you were going to live completely it's so crazy how she can smile her way through this. Separate lives. Yes. It was not a divorce on paper, right. but it was a divorce. a divorce. So from the year 2016, which is seven years ago now. <laughs> yeah. What, is that a diamond on her tooth? This bitch crazy. Y'all have been apart yeah there's so many things to go over just based off of this news right here first off this makes the slap at the oscars even worse will you got outside of your frame for a woman who you were separated from for six years also jada you had a whole red table talk show where the moniker was about being authentic and transparent why didn't the public know about the shit back during your entanglement phase. Now, mind you, it's still monster-like behavior to have sex with your son's friend who's going through some mental health issues. However, Will's image would have been less impacted if everybody knew that you guys were separated. So you bought Will through that entire Red Table Talk journey for nothing. You continue to embarrass him for not but you decide to release this information when it's in your book, when you can make money off of it. Absolutely absurd, entitled, and narcissistic behavior. But guys, when you put the totality of the relationship into perspective, here's what you got. Hollywood blue-pilled actor who wants nothing more than to have a family gets into a relationship with an alpha widow from Tupac Shakur. Actor believes that he's found true love and the potential mother of the remainder of his children after failed marriage previously and gets married to you, Jada, even though you say that you didn't want to be married to him. Actor continues in his career to be one of the brightest talents the world has ever seen. But you as the alpha widow and the forever feminist, not happy. And this begins to slowly chip away at his sanity as well as his mental health. So much so is that we can see the impact with the children, even though you in the position that millions of women would have wanted to be in, you still weren't happy. Did you ever feel like Jada was ungrateful? Hell yeah. 
told you guys before, if they come from a tortured past, tread extremely lightly. And although he tried everything in his blue-pilled mindset to keep the marriage afloat, it still wasn't good enough for you. But because through Will's accolades and value to the world, a family business was being built and divorce might jeopardize the money. So everybody kept a damn facade. So much so that we have pop culture icons putting you into music, talking about that Will and that Jada love. And then we find out about the eerie, peculiar details regarding your marriage via your red table talk. Then we hear about the entanglement. And then we watch Will Smith get up on stage and smack Chris Rock in the face. And get this, Jada also claims that Chris Rock tried to get at her. Jada Pickett Smith tells people Chris Rock asked her out one summer amid divorce rumors with Will Smith. She's quoted as saying, he called me and basically he was like, I'd love to take you out. And I was like, well, what do you mean? He was like, well, aren't you and Will getting a divorce? I was like, no, Chris, those are just rumors. He was appalled and he profusely apologized. And that was that. And my only response to this is simply, Cap, I don't believe a damn thing you say, Jada. I'm gonna have to have Chris corroborate this story. This relationship is going to forever be a case study in sectors of the internet like this so that young men can continue to learn from Will Smith blue-pilled simpish days to understand the mistakes that he make and ensuring that we don't make the same mistakes in our life as well. But we must continue to extrapolate the lessons learned. And here's some of the biggest lessons of in this. Gentlemen, listen to me. Marrying evil is a guaranteed path to ruining your kingdom as well as your reputation. Just think about how it's resulted within their kids. We know some crazy shit about their lives. Willow having a corn addiction. I went on Willow's Tumblr. She was 10 or 11 and she said, mom, and she's very matter of fact, she was like, I'm going to my Tumblr page, but as we're going to the Tumblr page, you're gonna see a lot of stuff. This has nothing to do with me. <laughs> so I was like, okay, so she's just scrolling, scrolling. And when I tell you, I saw some of the most hardcore pornography it on Tumblr. It wasn't, mom. It really it wasn't. Was it, it was hard. It Listen, really wasn't. It was she's hardcore for you to be seeing that freaking 11 years old. It, it, <sighs> Tumblr, I could Tumblr, not believe that. No, Tumblr like, is more of the artistic kids. aspect of it, though. Not what I saw. Well, nothing artistic about that. I saw some. I don't remember stuff. what you saw, but yeah, what well, I, I know I remember of, graphically. What I, I know like, about Tumblr. I was like Willow, and she was like, "Don't even pay attention to it. We're getting to my page." I was like, "I can't believe kids are exposed to this on a daily basis." I was profoundly yeah. disturbed. Jaden, with his fingernail polish wanting to be self-emancipated. 15 years old, Jaden. And I remember this day specifically. It was mm -hmm. probably one of the most heartbreaking moments of, of my life. Mm -hmm. You got to a point where you told me straight up, you were like, Mom, I have to leave here to live my life. Totally. And I remember thinking to myself, as devastated as I was, I was like, he's right. Yeah. The time is now. He's 15. It's time for him to leave the house. Mm -hmm. And I would have never agreed with that. I knew. I told Will when Jaden was smaller, I said, we'd be lucky to keep him in the house till he's 16. It says a lot about <laughs> a young man that says, nope, I need to be out of here by 15 years old. It makes you really question, think about, and wonder the things that were going on that he thought was not a good look for him to stay in, OK? Now, the next couple of clips here are what the young man started to do right after that. And I will say this, there is not a man, a father on this planet that wants to watch their young boy begin to dress like a woman in skirts and sequin shit. None of that. But I think this truly is the result of what happens if the nuclear family, if the father is not as present or if the mother who has come from a tortured past takes over. It's not to say that all mothers do that. Porking your son's mentally ill friend. When I was young, I definitely think I had a sex addiction <laughs> of some kind. <laughs> yes, that everything could get be fixed by sex. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I actually don't look at it as a transgression at all. And I was really able to do some really deep healing. Mm -hmm. 
was really a joy to just help heal somebody. Yeah. And I, I totally gave myself to that relationship for years of my life. Clearly what happened. And I got into an entanglement with August. That's what I said. An entanglement? Yes. <laughs> Yes. A relationship. Yes, it was a yeah. relationship, absolutely. The idea that everything can be fixed by sex is a mentality that doesn't make any inkling of sense. Oh, but wait, when the young boy comes with mental health issues and you think that anything can be fixed by sex, is then the logic that your sex can help mend this young boy that's going through a serious time in his life? been right in front of us all along. Yes, yes, yes. Hosting the self snitch trauma table. Oh, I mean the red table talk. You continue to embarrass Will. Speaking about his sexual performance as a husband. Listen to this bullshit. About navigating the communication gaps in her relationship. Well, on the table. It it's really, hard. I know, I'm, I'm I sure. Mean, the thing that Will and I talk about a lot is the journey. I mean, we started in this at a very young age, mm -hmm. you know, 22 years old. It's crazy. That's why the accountability part really hit for me yeah. because I think yeah. you expect your partner to know, especially when it comes to sex. Right. It's like, well, if you love me, you should know. Right. Mm -mm. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you love me, you should be able to read you my should mind. Read my mind. Yeah. Admitting to grandma teaching you about masturbation. My mm -hmm. grandmother taught me about self-pleasuring because she wanted me to know that that pleasure was from me. Yeah. And she taught me at nine. Or even how I used to be a drug dealer. I had to hustle. That's right. what my life was about. Cause there was a certain kind of lifestyle and way I wanted to live. I never wanted to depend on a man to take care of me. So I was in the streets selling drugs. I never wanted to be married continuing to proclaim your love for Tupac. This is the letter that Willow wrote to Tupac. Dear Tupac, I know you're alive someplace and I think that my mommy really misses you. Can you come back so mommy and me can be happy? I wish you were here, I really do. And again, the question is, is what type of household is this when the daughter is writing notes to the first option? Documenting how you don't respect his boundaries. You know Esther Perel is coming to the table. She's going to be at the red table. Would you say she has been instrumental in you and I redefining our relationship? I would say don't just start filming me without asking me oh if you could film Astaire, me. Esther, come help us again, please. I'm still dealing with foolishness. Don't. No, nah, no, nah, she, yeah, because she, don't just... Would you say that she If that's not the look in the face of a beaten and disheveled man that doesn't even have control of his own household, then I don't know what is. This is the thousand yard stare. This is the married guy, the married unhappy guy stare. This is a man that didn't understand that a woman need to be right will beat you into a verbal submission, one of which the male spirit is just not prepared for at all i would say don't just start filming me without asking me this is one of the first times that we've seen will smith the human being dealing with being in his own household with his wife this is not the will smith that battles the aliens this is not the will smith that was portraying muhammad ali this is not the will smith in the fresh prince of bel-air this is will smith the man who's been married for 25 years with a demon witch Let's proceed. My social media presence is my bread and butter, okay? So you can't just use me for social media and not, you know, don't just start rolling. I'm standing in my house. Don't just start rolling. And the question about that is, how did this even go live? If she just recorded it, how, how did it get into anyone else's hand? I mean, she still chose to post it. Holy moly. I could keep going, but the list goes on and on and on. At the end of the day, gentlemen, do understand that smart people learn from their mistakes, but wise people learn from the mistakes of others. There is no amount of love or romance or fixing her that will turn a witch into a helpmate. Will Smith should have gone out like the G that everybody thought that he was. Denzel's going out like that right now. Shout out to Denzel. But instead, Will's image is now turned into a meme. 
All because you believed in love with the wrong one. You cannot convince me that Jada Pickett Smith is not Bobbity. She's a homunculus. She's Bobbity up this motherfucker. You cannot convince me that she don't got one of the greatest genjutsus ever cast upon another human being in the history of man. Shorty talking about she been separated since 2016. I'm pretty sure she was aware that she was separated, but Will probably ain't know. You had this man slap one of his closest friends for 30 plus years live in front of a national televised audience talking about keep my wife name out your fucking mouth and little did she know that jada considered him her ex-husband a strange primary quarter appointment she got no respect for you bro every single morning she wake up thinking about one plus one equal two pop News broke last week, two weeks ago, whatever the time just so happened to be, that they done arrested this man's alleged murderer. And I'm pretty sure she walked around with all kinds of secretion dripping down her doggone panty line, bruh. I'm telling you right now, release, release Will Smith from this genjutsu, bruh. Because there ain't been no media that has broken, that had Will Smith looking in the positive light, bruh. Everything got this man looking like he been taking L's since 1997. Save this man. Save this man and eviscerate this bobbity casted woman. Shout out to my friend Chisel the Donners. Make sure you guys go follow his channel. Hilarious, brother. All right? Questions, comments, concerns. Y'all already know what to do. Mio Gutierrez and reviews at gmail.com. Guys, write some comments down below. Let's have a conversation about this one. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care of yourselves. Shout out to the MT Army. Until next time, YouTube. Peace. Peace.